Hi guys, I'm Tom. This is The Bunker. Let's talk about Smash Waste Nomads. This video is sponsored by the EmpireGameStore.co.uk. For exclusive Bunker discounts, follow the link in the description below. So before I break open my miniatures and start painting and gluing and sticking my fingers together, I want to have a look at what the Ash Waste Nomads actually do. And uh, to do that, I'm going to go through the rules. So first off, we have our leader, who's a Nomad Chieftain. He's 130 credits. Group Activation 2, Gang Hierarchy is the leader. Movement 6, Weapon Skill 3 plus, 4 plus BS, Strength and Toughness 3 is across the board, 2 and yes, very standard stat line, I think that. Um, you have your champions, which are watchers, Nomad Watchers, uh, 110 credits each. Gang Hierarchy Champion, Group Activation 1, yep, you'd expect that. Gangers, which are Nomad Warriors, 70 credits each. Um, they come with nothing, these guys. Um, so, yeah, quite interesting. And then a Nomad Dust Rider, who is a prospect. I'm guessing that's a Juve. At 90 credits each. And his war gear is a Dustback Helamite. So the Helamite Riders are 90 credits each. Um, I think that's how the Juves work. I'm not entirely certain. Again, we don't have a full book yet, but let's have a look at some equipment. So as we get onto the equipment list, a Nomad Chieftain or Watcher may take any weapon. A warrior may take basic weapons, special weapons, close combat weapons and pistols, and a dust rider may take any weapon except for heavy weapons. All fighters are equipped with an ash cloak and flak armour. Ah, okay. So all fighters currently come with an ash cloak and flak armour. All fighters except nomad dust riders are equipped with a sky mantle. No fighter may be equipped with more than three weapons. Weapons marked with an asterisk count as two weapons. Credit-wise, um, basic weapons are Blast Rifle at 15 creds. Close combat, you can have a Chain Lance, 55 creds. Long Blade, 30 creds. A Mono Hook, 35 creds. Stalking Knife for 20 creds. Blast Pistol at 15 creds. Long Rifles, 30 creds. Heavy weapons are a Charge Caster with Shock Blast and Crack Rockets, 155 creds. That sounds hard as nails. Um, a war gear personal equipment machine. You can have a bio scanner at 30 creds, photo goggles 35 creds, or a rocket pack at 5 creds. So the blast rifle, which is the basic weapon they can take. Uh, short range 10 inch, long range 24, plus one to hit short range, strength 3, damage 1, armor 4 plus, and it's got shock. Okay, that's pretty cool. The guns fire shock. Um, these are all basic weapons, guys. I'm not going to go through those. Uh, a blast pistol. Is 8 inch short, 12 inch long, plus 1 to hit a short, 3, 1 damage, 4 plus armour, side arm, and it's got shock. A long rifle. We have long rifle is short range 24 inch, long range 48 inch, plus 1 to hit a long range, strength 4, AP minus 1, damage 1, 4 plus ammo, knock back. Heavy weapons. So this is where they get a bit cool, I think. So charge caster. It's like a missile, it's like a bazooka, basically. So you've got a shock blast rocket, short range 20 inch, long range 40 inch, plus one to hit a short range, strength four, one damage, six plus ammo, blast five inch, shock unwieldy. So that thing is a five inch template of shock at strength four, which is pretty cool. Or a crack rocket, 20 to 40, plus 1 to hit, 20 inch, strength 6, minus 2, 3 damage, 6 plus, unwieldy. They're, that's pretty sick. I, I, I do like that. I think that's very, very, very cool. Uh, close combat weapons. Chain lance. So obviously it's engagement range. Long range is 2 inch. So that's quite cool. It's minus 1 to hit a short range. Um, but it's strength plus 2. AP minus two, damage two, lance, melee, unwieldy, and versatile. Um, long, bl long blade is engagement range and it's plus one to hit. Uh, it's user strength, minus two, AP, one damage, melee, and parry. A mono hook is engagement range, flat on your weapon skill, uh, flat strength, but it's minus one AP, damage two, melee, and pulverize. Okay, th there's some pretty cool. <laughs> They've all got an ash cloak. So, designed to survive and maintain life in the middle of the ash waste, the ash cloak provides protection against the harsh environment. It grants the following benefits. So, you can't have been equipped with a respirator. Now, I think that's massively important because a lot of the weather conditions you can 5 plus ignore with a respirator. 
If the yeah, and if the fighter loses a wound as a result of a battlefield condition on a five up, they ignore that effect and do not lose that wound. Okay. Um, Dustback Helmite. Move that up a bit. There we go. So Dustback Helmite. When equipped with a Dustback Helmite, fight against the mounted condition and all of its associated rules. In addition, increase the fighter's movement to eight inches, and the fighter gains the Mighty Leap skill. Okay. And respirators. When a model with a respirator is hit by a weapon with a gas trait, treat their toughness as uh, plus two, uh, essentially two higher than what it is. Uh, a sky mantle. So this is pretty cool. So all the all the ash waste skies. A fighter equipped with a sky mantle can take the hide in the waste double action. Um, if this fighter is at least 12 inches away from the nearest enemy model, they gain the hidden condition. So even if they have a current, even if the current battle is not using the pitch black rules, so they become revealed if they move as well as all the normal triggers for becoming revealed. So basically, they, they knuckle down, hide, and the ash just like covers them over. It's kind of like June, but obviously, games where you don't want to sue in. And just because we have an awful lot of it, the shot condition, as we are now, if the hit roll of a shot weapon is natural six, the wound roll is considered to automatically succeed. So five-inch templates of that is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I like the missile launcher. I think that's really pretty cheeky. So there we go. There's the stats. I'm going to have a bit of a think now and plan out my thousand creds of blokes and then 90 points each dust riders i think they want the lances don't they but i'll have a think as to what to take and what to to give the guys and then we'll build that in the next part so at this point that's where the rules law ends thank you for watching up to here if you are and here we are with my thousand cred gang so they seem like they're super expensive because i've not really gone overboard here and I have six models, um, but let me take you through what I've got. Obviously, I need to do the Helamite Rider, so I'll do another 400 creds after this this part, and you'll see the full gang. Um, so, and uh, <laughs> guess guess the names if you can. <laughs> so that is my Nomad Chieftain, Chani, with an Ash Cloak, Flak Armor, Chain Lance, Sky Mantle, and a Blast Pistol. Uh, just a sick model. I've gone with a pistol because I can't see too close combat weapons. I like having a bit of range on all my, my characters. I've got two Nomad Watchers. So I have Stilgar, who is a Watcher. Now he also has an Ash Cloak, Flak Armor, a Sky Mantle, but he has the Charge Caster, which is with shock and crack missiles because that thing's horrific. I've also given him a stalking knife just for a bit of combat ability if he needs to. Um, that, that weapon is 155 credits. <laughs> um, he's got a friend. So another Nomad Watcher. And that is Nami with an Ash Cloak, Flak Armor, Sky Mantle, a Blast Pistol and a Long Blade. So I figure that, yeah, they're going to do a lot of long range sniping, my guys, but you still need to be able to get in there, don't you, and stuff like that. Which is where the actual nomads come in themselves. So, first nomad warrior, we have Corba. And I've sort of converted Corba a little bit. He's got the, the, the hook hand thing. So he's got a blast rifle and a mono hook. Um, just because I wanted a bit of sort of medium range threat and also he can sort of go with this this guy here and sort of get a good close chain activation and stuff like that. And then for my other warriors, I've gone for two exactly the same. Um, so the first one, now that is Hera with an, uh, a cloak, flak armor, sky mantle, a long rifle and a stalking knife. And then as a backup, we've got a second long rifle and stalking knife set up and that is for rock so there we go <laughs> it's a big gang isn't it to start with um, but when you bring an 155 point weapon on one of your lead, your characters i guess it just is what it is um but i'm thinking the ass waste nomads if i get battered in you know sex mechanicus games and stuff like that i don't care because this is what they would have in the ash waste they'd have missile launchers deal vehicles and big creatures and they'd have the sniper rifles so yeah so let's now have a look and a build and a think about the helamites and i'll come back to you there we go so i'm gonna i've i've not been able to use all of the creds and i think this is probably going to change when 
the next book comes. So I've taken two Elamite riders, I've given them the lance, the chain lance, and then a rifle on the back for a bit of versatility. Um, so I'm going to have eight models in total in my starting gang. I know it's not a lot, I know, I know it's not a lot, but it's um, the Ashworth Nomads seem super expensive, or they seem like they've got the options to take some really cool stuff, but if you don't, you're going to get well, chinned, for want of a better word. So there we go. There is my Ash Waste Nomads tribe, uh, the Fenin. <laughs> um, so yeah, they're um, they're going to be looking to wreck Orlock Face in our upcoming battle reports. However, what was really cool was that you've got loads of extra bits. So what I've done, I have made some extra guys, and I'm hedging a bet here. Um, that you can buy a Helamite for your characters. So I've made essentially that chap um, on a mount with a claw. Uh, and if not, I can just, you know, I can pay to have a Helamite rider with a claw and a pistol. And I've also done a mounted version of my chief. Um, you know, he's so in, or she is so in tune with the bug, she can just put her hand on it and ride it. And then I've just made some guys with the, the rifles, just because I think you. They're like your bog standard gangers, aren't they? So those guys there, just so I, I can say that I've got some. And a guy with a knife and he'll have a pistol and a, a blade made out of a giant worm tooth. <clears throat> and then I really like that. <laughs> um, so that'll be a champion with a, a, a long rifle. A pair of binoculars, just because, you know, he's looking for the prey, isn't he? Looking for the prey. And that's combining the bits from the Hellmite Riders and the normal kit. So there we go. That that is hopefully going to be the full full might of the tribe once we start playing the campaign. So you know, something a bit different today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at the what the um, what the gang does so far. I mean, obviously we need the book, don't we? We need the new book. So for now, I am going to say adieu, and I will get painting my fenin. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe, stay well, and happy hobby. Here.